Forum tonight. My name is Heather Briegel. I'm a League of Women Voters member and I have with me Mayor Boisman and uh, I'm going to grill you tonight on the topic of boards and commissions. How does that sound? That sounds like a fun idea. Fun topic, yes. <laughs> okay, so let's get right into it. Um, so how many boards and commissions does the City of New Ulm actually have? Right now we have, I'm pretty sure it's 17 uh, one of the two of the commissions joined together. We used to have a planning commission and a zoning commission and it was kind of silly because the way it was set up um, almost everybody on the so uh, all, every, all the people that were on the zoning commission were on the planning commission So let's just have one meeting and, and slide them together mm -hmm. and that's that's worked out very very well um, I may have Miscounted because there have been some commissions that have not met in the whole time that I've been mayor. Yeah. When one of those commissions is the health committee or the health board, board of health, excuse okay. me, the board of health. Uh, there has not been a need for them to meet. Therefore, why call a meeting if there's nothing going on? Okay. Um, so do you think that the number of boards and commissions the city has at this time is adequate or do you think we have too few or too many? <laughs> or just right? That's kind of a tricky question <laughs> because when it comes to filling all the positions, we have too many. <laughs> but, but all of the things that need to be done in the city of New Ulm and the oversee, uh, overseeing of, of activities, um, yeah, we probably have at least what we should have. Many hands make slight work, well, so they that's say, correct, but, but also filling the positions knows, is a job. Yep, and everyone <laughs> knows that um, somebody's watching. Okay, so if someone wanted to find a list of the um, boards and commissions, where could they get that information? Come up to City Hall, um, see one of our administrative assistants, Lisa or Lisa. Okay. And uh, they'll be able to give you a book like this mm -hmm. that talks about not only what the who the commissions are, but also rules and regulations, responsibilities, responsibility of the chair, et cetera, et cetera, responsibility of the members. Okay. Um, and how often, how often do the boards and commissions meet? That varies. Uh, right now, the Energy Awareness Commission, which by the way, I have a vacancy and I need someone badly to come in and fill in that position, but this, they have decided that they're going to meet every other month. Okay. So instead of 12 meetings for the year, they'll only have six. Okay. So if someone is looking for a chance to volunteer, you are looking for someone to serve on that commission, and it would be six meetings a year. Six meetings Commit a year. Commitments. Okay. Um, so how does the city typically recruit uh, volunteers to serve on the various boards and commissions? In area, we have, uh, I advertised in the newspaper telling them that we have openings here at, in this commission and that commission. Um, also, the uh, mayor has done some work in talking to other people, maybe uh, present uh, commission members. Um, every so often, somebody has to get off because they've served their terms and they have to be off for at least a year. Um, with all of that, uh, the it, it's been feeling pretty easy. Okay. In fact, for several commissions, I do have a waiting list. Oh. For some reason, um, a lot of people want to be on the Park and Rec Commission, and a whole lot of people want to be on the Park and Rec, uh, excuse me, Public Utilities Commission. Oh, okay. There could be a reason for that. Hmm. Because the Public Utilities Commission is a paid position. Oh, well, that would so make that it more might, attractive. That might be one of the reasons why many people would like to be on the Public Utilities Commission. Okay. So if someone were to be interested in serving on one of the bo boards or commissions, um, how do they go about applying for that or letting you know that they're interested? There's an application form. Uh, pick it up at City Hall. Again, okay. second floor, Lisa, Lisa. And um, 
contact me personally if you want instead of picking it up yourself. Uh, we can we can work on all kinds of different things. And if somebody really wants to be a member of a commission, another good thing is take a present commission member and say, um, why don't you pass my name on? Okay. And so there's a good start for me when somebody says, I'd like to be on. Okay. Or, as many people have, call me. I take your name down, uh, especially when you live in the city of New Orleans, in the confines of the city of New Orleans. Mm -hmm. Uh, you don't necessarily have to work here, but you have to be able to attend the meetings mm -hmm. here in New Orleans. Okay. So how long does it take to get appointed once someone submits an application or lets you know they're interested? That also varies. That depends. Mm -hmm. uh, if, the, if the boards are full, if either there's no one going off, or there's already a waiting list for people to come on for somebody who has to get off the board. It's really amazing for me. Uh, uh, it, once you're on a commission, most people want to stay on that commission. They really get into what their job is, mm -hmm. whether it's energy commission, and boy, those people work hard, especially at the home show. Mm -hmm. um, and they're always out promoting how can we save energy uh, to, well, of course, planning. That's mm -hmm. a very important part of the city, zoning. Mm -hmm. Like I said, the health commission, well, there the uh, rules are a little bit more stringent. You not only have to live in New Orleans, but in order to be the chief or the head of the health uh, board, board of health, you must be a licensed physician. So oh. I just can't take anyone off okay. the street for that. Okay. Um. When can a newly appointed member begin to serve on the Border Commission? January 1. Okay. Actually, let me just put that, let me, let me, the closest city hall, uh, city council meeting after January 1. Okay, so they have to be approved through city council. They have to be approved council. from the city council, or through the city council, correct. Okay. Um, so when someone is a new uh, board member or uh, commission member, um, are they given any kind of orientation regarding their duties and, um, you know, as far as what's expected of them? Basically, that's what this uh, boards uh, and committee handbook is all okay. about. It's something that I think is fairly new, at least this copy is almost brand new. Mm -hmm. um, it, it really does not only tell you what commissions there are, when they meet, but they also tell you if you happen to be the board chair what your duties are, mm -hmm. and if you're just a member, I shouldn't say just a member, but if you're a member, you have certain commitments too, and okay. certain responsibilities. So they're all provided with that handbook? It's all provided in this beautiful handbook. Okay. And I'm sure if they have any questions, they can talk to you. Any or... questions, they can talk to me, or they can talk to any of the other commission members. Mm -hmm. They would be happy to um, share their knowledge, and this is what we do. Okay. Um, in addition to the boards and commissions that we have, um, are there currently any committees in addition to that at this time? Yes, there are. Uh, I'm going to hopefully look down here and, and see what I've got on my uh, notes here. Uh, I must have moved that onto the second page, but let me go by guess here. Okay. Um, right now we have a uh, oversight commission or committee mm -hmm. for the study of making sure that the uh, sales tax is going in the right spot. Okay, is that for the Renew For the projects? Renew pro Project, okay. correct. We also have a uh, oversight committee for the hillside uh, restoration of Herman Monument site. Okay. Uh, there's been some problems with the site, uh, with, the, with the blocks falling out and so there's some need there. Um, there's a couple of other ones right now that are just right off the top of my head and I have not been able to okay. find my notes completely here. I even wrote them in big, big type. But, um, <laughs> they're hiding. They're hiding, they're hiding. The Hillside Slope uh, Long-Term Power Committee. They just changed their name from Long-Term Energy to Long-Term Power. Oh. So there is a committee, again, that uh, is not set up by the mayor. Some people think the mayor sets that up, but that one's not set up. That one's set up by the PUC. 
Okay. And um, that's what they talk about. Okay. Interesting. So there's a, all kinds of opportunities for people that are, if they're interested in serving the community, uh, yeah. where they could serve on a board commission or a committee. Absolutely. Um, what, you know, they should be able to find something that they might be interested in with the variety that we have available, it sounds like. So Absolutely. There's something out there that should interest you. And most of the commissions meet once a month. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, that's also with there's got to be a little asterisk there because every once in a while there's a commission that is scheduled to meet, like the one tonight, um, which there was nothing on the agenda, so why meet? Okay. Besides it's cold. <laughs> That's right. People don't want to go out tonight. So um, that is uh, the end of my questions. Do you have anything else that you'd like to add that I haven't asked? No, but I'd just like to reiterate that uh, I need one for sure. Okay, and which? Uh, that would be the energy that? awareness. Okay, so if anyone out there is interested in serving on the energy awareness commission, commission, uh, let the mayor know. Let me know. He'll take your name. That's one, and uh, just the other fa fact that if there's anything else that strikes your fancy in all the various different commissions that are there, uh, even health. If you've got something that you're really interested in health, fine. Mm -hmm. um, police commission, uh, we, <laughs> the first eight years, we never met. We didn't need to. But as soon as the chief retired, there was a whole succession of things and people were moving, mm -hmm. and one of our patrolmen moved to the county, mm -hmm. and I think another one moved to the county. Mm -hmm. So we've got a lot of slots to fill. So it's been a busy time for the police commission. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's been a lot of changes with the city and the PUC and all Correct. around. All, all around. <laughs> yes, there have. So, all right. Well, I certainly appreciate your time and coming in to chat with us tonight, and we hope people find this to be informative. Just call the city hall. You look in the new. You look in the uh, phone book. I'm sure the new phone book came out, so I'm not sure if it's the new number or the old number, the old standard number. But one way or another, it'll get to Lisa or Lisa, mm -hmm. and if it's for me, they'll get it to me. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you.